Red Sox slowly getting healthy. Mike Cameron back in the lineup for the first time since April 18. Top of the second, two out. Cameron's first at bat lifts one deep to left, trying to play long ball, but it holds up at the wall, and Carl Crawford's there to make the catch. Bottom of the second, one out. B.J. Upton sends a hard ground to the third, and check out the glove work by Adrian Beltre. Gets down and dirty, reaches out, and makes the throw to first in plenty of time. Top of the third, Big Poppy provides a big lift. It's into the air out towards left center field. Carl Crawford on the run is not going to get there. One hops the wall. From second base comes Drew. He'll score. Euclid's trying to score from first. He will. And the Red Sox take a 2-0 lead. John Lester knows what to do with a lead in hand. Bottom of the third, Ben Zobra swinging. Then in the fourth, Evan Longoria not going to make contact. Bottom of the fifth, Carl Crawford takes strike one. Not pleased at all with the call. Take another look. We'll let you decide. Crawford gets up close and personal with Bob Davidson. That gets him tossed. Then Joe Madden comes out. He makes his opinion heard to no avail and joins Crawford in the clubhouse. Lester, though, finishes the at-bat by striking out Crawford's replacement, Sean Rodriguez. Bottom of the six, Lester tells Carlos Pena to sit down swinging. That was it for Lester. Six scoreless innings, gave up one hit and fan nine. Bottom of the ninth, still 2-0, Rays with the tying run at the plate. Runner takes off for third, as a swing and a miss for Upton, and the game is over. Papelbon strikes out B.J. Upton. Papelbon gets his 11th save as the Red Sox blank the Rays 2-zip. Lester combined with three relievers on a one-hit shutout. Mike Cameron went 0-3 for 3 with a strikeout in his first game back. Boston has won seven of its last eight.